COVID-19 infections almost looks like a bit of a tsunami. The number of infections are skyrocketing, with the healthcare system having been pushed to the brink of collapse. So let us take a look at the statistics that are coming in, being officially reported by the government to assess the impact of COVID-19 on children and also on young adults. Now, as per the data from the Union Health Ministry, nearly about 79,688 children have been infected in the five worst hit states between the 1st of March and the 10th of April. Now, in the state of Maharashtra alone, nearly about 60,684 children have tested positive and nearly 9,000 of these children are under the age of five. In Chhattisgarh, 5,940 children are said to have been infected in Karnataka, 7,327 children have tested positive for COVID-19 and about 871 of them are said to be less than 5 years old. In Uttar Pradesh, the largest state in India, 3,004 children have been infected while Delhi has logged 2,733 infections amongst children with 441 of them below the age of 5. The fresh surge in the number of coronavirus infections has witnessed more pediatric cases in those of 10 years of age and also in the age group of 1 to 8 years. And amongst other symptoms that have been shown by children are blocked nose, abdominal pain and diarrhea. Apart from sore throat, weakness, fatigue, loss of appetite, exhaustion and headache. Now, owing to the increase in the number of infections, the central government has postponed the Class 12 CBSE examinations and has also cancelled the Class 10 board exams. Currently, there is no vaccine that is available for children anywhere in the world against COVID-19. AstraZeneca vaccine for testing on children in the United Kingdom has been suspended. Moderna claims that it is testing doses on participants in the age group of 2 to 12, while Pfizer has declared that its mRNA shot is 100% effective in children in the age group of 12 to 15 years.